Hi, welcome back to another technology tutorial. This is Dan Kirkbride, the Instructional Technology Specialist with the Coeur d'Alene School District. Today I'm going to show you how to use Mail Merge in Microsoft Word to create login cards for students that will have their username and passwords. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet that I created using the process from my earlier tutorial that shows how to pull the student login information from Skyward. Once I've got that report, I need to now take out these top six rows. So I'm going to select all six of those, right click, and delete. This makes it so that my first row are the column headers for the information that I need for my mail merge. Once I've done that, I'm going to now resave this under a different name. And now I've got a file that's ready to go. I'm going to close that file because that will cause issues later when I go to do the merge. Now I'm going to switch over to Microsoft Word and in the menu at the top there's an option that says mailings. I'm going to select that. I'm going to go to start mail merge and I'm going to choose the step-by-step -step merge wizard. And this will take me step-by-step -step through everything that I need to do to create this document. The first thing it's going to ask is what kind of document I want to create. By default it'll be on letters, but I want to go for labels because that'll be the easiest way to have cards that I can cut out and give to my students. Then I'll click Next and I'm going to choose my label options. And when I first get in there it's going to probably default to this Microsoft option, but I'm going to change it because if I go down here to Avery and then I'm going to scroll down to their address labels, which is down there a fair amount. Let's see if we can find it. Here we go. And the 5162 address labels are a good size for being able to create these cards and, and pass them out to students. So then I'll click OK. And you can see now that it's inserted a table into my document. If I select this here, you'll see the table there. And now I'm going to select my recipients. So I'm going to go to step three and I'm going to use an existing list because we already have it created in that spreadsheet and I'm going to browse for that spreadsheet. I put this one on my desktop so I'll go here. It's my student IDs. I'll click open. It's going to ask what kind of delimiter it is since it's a CSV file. We can just go past that, click OK and it's going to find our fields. By default it's going to select all of the students. If there's any students in there that we don't want to be on here, we can uh, check this box and have it not included on the mail merge. But we'll probably want to keep all of them there. We'll click OK. And now we can start arranging the labels and deciding where our or what information we want to pull. So we can click next to go to step four. And now we can start inserting the options that we want. So what we'll want to do is go down here to more items and it's going to show the fields that we can add to our um, the merge fields that we can add to our document. So I want to insert my name, the student ID, and their login username. We'll close that since we've got that in there. Now I'm going to arrange it how I want it arranged. And once I've got it in one area here, I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go to the next one and paste it there. Go to the next one, paste, paste, and on down. We want to keep that next record option in there because that tells the merge to go on to the next record. So if I took that out of there, it would repeat the same student over and over again. But since it says next record, it will go on to the next student in that um, recipient list. So now that we've got it all in there, we're going to go over here and we're going to preview our labels. So when we click that, it's going to show us, hey, this is what it's going to look like when it gets all printed out. 
it's only going to show us that first one, which is fine. Now we're going to go to the next step. And we can actually go back here. And we're going to pull all of our students in there. Uh, we're going to complete the merge. Now, what we're going to want to do here, if we want to just print it straight to the printer and not save a document with um, these labels, I can just print it straight to the printer. But I might want to be able to save that document and come back to it. So I'm going to hit Edit Individual Labels. I want it to merge all of the records. And now it creates a brand new Word document that has all the students from that recipient list with labels that I can cut out and hand to my students. The really nice thing about this is I'm going to save this file and I'm going to call it period one logins and I'll you know, save it wherever. I'm going to save this one to my desktop. Save it and now I can come back to this period one logins. If I close that, it's going to take me back to my merge template and I can actually go back if I go back in these steps to step three I can select a different recipient list so I can get all of my lists ready to go and do one class at a time and do it for all of my classes and all I have to do is select a different list choose those different spreadsheets that I have ready to go and I can do this for each one of my classes. If you have any questions on how to complete this process, you can uh, always give me an email at dkirkbride at cdaschools.org or if you have any uh, technology issues that are keeping you from doing that, you can submit a tech repair to techrepair at cdaschools.org. Thanks. Have a great day.